Hey guys, it's your girl Celia, and today's video will be about even primrose oil or EPO as you guys know it. So, there's some research I did on EPO, even primrose oil, and I wanted to share it with you ladies. Um, first, I'm going to let you see what it looks like. So, your bottle may not look exactly like this because this is a um, pharmaceutical company here in Jamaica. I'm not sure if it's in the U.S. or so forth. But I do have made in U.S. on, on it. I don't know. I'm guessing it was labeled here, but this is from the U.S. So, um, as you can see, the EPO, even Primrose Oil. And this is 500 milligrams. Um, some of them come in at 1,000 milligrams. And this is 90 soft gels. So I'm going to let you see what it looks like. It, it kind of looks somewhat like omega-3, if you take um, omega-3, but only smaller. So this is what it looks like. And I take three of these each day. In the morning, usually, um, after having my breakfast, and um, yeah, so I'm gonna read some things to get a better understanding of what EPO is for and how it can help you. So um, this is even for most for ovulation. Um, so what is it? Evening primrose oil or EPO is a natural essence derived from the evening primrose plant, a North American wildflower. It is not actually related to the primrose family but looks similar to the English primrose. Prized for centuries as a curative wonder, this plant has high concentration of vitamins and fatty acids that help address ailments such as menstrual cramps high cholesterol and infertility issues. In cases of infertility, the oil improves the quality of the cervical fluid at the time of ovulation. At the time of ovulation. So let me read that part again. In cases of infertility, the oil improves that even primrose oil improves the quality of the cervical fluid at the time of ovulation. Um, how it works. Even primrose oil has a fatty acid known as gamma linolenic acid, similar to omega-3 fatty acids, I was right, <laughs> found in fatty fish, flax seeds, and flaxseed oil. These acids, which are turned into prostaglandins, prostaglandins in the body, have anti-inflammatory effects taking away pain and cramps. So, yeah, it takes away pain and cramps. EPO helps increase your cervical fluid and improve its quality, transforming it from dry and sticky to wet, thin, clear, and stretchy, like egg whites. This type of cervical mucus at the time of ovulation is ideal for sperm to achieve its mission. This type of cervical mucus that the evening primrose oil produces at this time of ovulation is ideal for sperm to achieve its mission, which is to sperm, of course, and we should add. Definitely. Um, <laughs> benefit. EPO aids your fertility in two ways. The clear, watery cervical mucus you produce from your cervix helps cervix helps sperm make their way into your uterus to meet your egg as you ovulate. As you get closer to ovulation, hormones send messages to your body to produce cervical fluid as a medium for sperm to swim through the cervix and get to your egg. Cervical fluid also acts to preserve the sperm in your uterus even before ovulation, awaiting the egg and increasing your fertile window. So, explain that in a little bit. We all know there's a certain amount of time in your cycle that you are, are that are considered to be your fertile window. Now, what Eve and Primrose Oil does is kind of um, lengthens your fertile window 
in, a, in the sense that it, it produces cervical mucus that is um, viable of keeping the sperm alive longer. So this is cervical mucus that the sperm will love, that will strengthen the sperm, keep them um, alive and active and mobile and, and stuff like that. Yes. So that's what that means. <laughs> um, warning. Listen carefully. EPO should only be taken from day one of your cycle up through ovulation in the correct dosage, which a medical practitioner or herbalist will determine. Well, it's written on the bottle, so you don't have much problem there. Too much can cause uterine cramps. So too much, like overdosing can cause uterine cramps, and cramping can lead to miscarriage. If taken after ovulation, EPO could interfere with implantation. Implantation. If taken after ovulation, so after you get pregnant, um, it could interfere with um, implantation. Yeah. Synchronize taking um, the evening primrose oil with um, temperature charting to confirm a thermal shift and to know when you ovulate it. So, if you're charting a, rise, um, a, a thermal shift, a rise in your temperature um, that is significant enough, that is um, steady. So, say for instance you were 90.0 today and tomorrow you're 97, no, not 97. <laughs> Um, 98 something or whatever, or you have a shift in more than um, 0.5, and then it stays up there and or goes up higher than that. So they would estimate that you ovulated on the day before that um, spike or a thermal shift, as they would call it. So um, the thing is now. They recommend that you don't take evening primrose oil after you ovulate, since, as they said, it can it can interfere with the implantation and stuff. And if you're trying to conceive, you don't want that, definitely not. So, um, if you some you may be wondering um, if you can start taking it now. That so if you know you are not pregnant, if you are certain that you are not pregnant, you can start taking it anytime in your cycle. All right. Um, so. If not, as soon as AF starts, start taking it, and when you, on the same day that you ovulate, or the same day you find out you ovulate, as soon as you get that um, positive re re um, result on your OPK, or you get that thermal shift from charting, stop taking it, and start taking flaxseed oil. Yes. So, um, I may do one on flaxseed oil, but what flaxseed oil is, basically, is, is um, it's gives you healthier eggs. Right. Yeah. So it gives you healthier eggs and and helps maintain that head. So it lessens the the um percentage or the possibility of having a miscarriage. Yeah. And we all need healthy heads. So yes, that's that. So um yeah, even from oil very good. If you did not catch all what that I said, you can rewind this video and watch it again or stuff anything like that or ask me any questions that you want so leave your questions in the description below and uh, I'll, I'll be willing to answer anything so if you don't if you're shy and don't want to leave it below um, go to my channel click on my name up top it will take you to my channel and leave me a message send me a, a, a private message okay so guys take care and once again, it's your girl Celia coming at you with another fertility aid. So, y'all take care. Bye bye.